right now. So the next little section here is about um, just simplifying exponents. So this is going to be no calculator. All right, this is all no calculator. So we need to. This is what I think they might be. It's been really delayed. Like they announced second or first lunch is over. Like after we had been down there. For like I know, but I, I gave you instructions about when to come back, and that's what we're gonna do. So. are going to do this with no calculator. So what we need to remember is that fractional exponents mean radicals. So look at that if you don't already know it. Fractional exponents mean radicals. When, so this is going to be a radical. Under the radical is going to be an 8. The number goes under the radical. The fraction gives you the root and the power, okay? The fraction gives us the root and the power. So this is the cube root of eight, which is two, to the first, which is two. So the answer to the problem is two. All right, so what does this one mean? Well, it's a fraction, so it's a radical. The number goes under the radical. The denominator tells me the root. The numerator tells me the power. So this means the fourth root of 16 to the first. So what's the fourth root of 16? Two. two to the first, two. All right, now what about this one? Well, it's a fraction. So it's a radical. And the number goes under the radical. The two-thirds power means cube root squared. So what's the cube root of eight? Two. Two squared is four. Same thing here. It's a radical. Under the radical goes the number, so 16. Then the exponent tells me the root and the power, so the denominator gives me the root. So the fourth root of 16 is two cubed is eight. Two times two times two. That's your answer. Was that a, uh, thing for okay. So okay. Yeah. I came back up here, flew up here, and sat here and waited, and you never came back. Sorry. Um, I'm blanking on how to find the that cube root 4 root. Can we go to calculator? You're supposed to know the 4 root of 16 is 2. So how you know that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. Okay. So, right. okay. yeah, there, these are things that you just have memorized. Um, but when you're finding a 4 through, what we mean is something times itself 4 times gives me 16. So you just have to figure out, if you don't know that already, it has to. Yeah. Now, these are not going to be big giant numbers. I'm not going to ask you for the, you know, cube root of 18,162 or something like that. But 16, 8, 27, those are numbers that, that probably are the part of the vocabulary. <coughs> All right, try this one on your own. Try 8 to the 4 thirds on your own. It's a fraction, so it's a radical. The number goes under the radical. The fraction tells you which root and which power. So what did you say the answer was? 16. The answer is 16. Because what's the cube root of 8? 2. two. And 2 to the 4th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. This is going to be no calculator, people. All right? So you need to be able to figure these out. Here we go. What's this one going to be? 16 goes under the radical. 
This one's going to be a square root cube. What's the square root of 16? Four. four. And four cubed, you might not have it memorized, but you know how to figure it out. Four cubed, because four times four times four. So 64. I tried this one, nine to the three halves. What's that mean? It means the square root of nine cubed, which is what? 27. Because the square root of nine is three, and three times three times three, three cubed is 27. Oh, and finishing with an easy one, what's 25 to the one half? Five. Five. Because it means the square root of 25 to the first. So a negative exponents mean one over. So the answer is one over four squared, which will be one over 16. Negative exponents mean one over. So what's this one? One over five to the first, which is just one over five. Be really careful with this next one. See how it's in two parts? This part does not have a negative exponent, so the two is just going to stay. But what's this? Three to the negative second. One over nine. Is that okay with everybody? One over three to the second. So now you have two over one times one over nine. So the answer will be two nights. This is a multiplication problem. That is one over nine, so two times one over nine. What about this one now? What do you think happens to that fraction since it has a negative exponent on it? It's going to flip it over. It's going to flip it over. So, instead of having one-fourth to a power, we're going to make that four over one to the second. So, remember, this took it to the denominator, right? So if it's already in the denominator and it has a negative, it's going to go to the numerator. So this becomes four to the negative second, or four to the second, four to the second. So that's just <coughs> sixteen. <coughs> now, same or the very same line. What happens to this? It's going to flip to 3 over 2, but it's still going to have to be cubed. When you flip it, the exponent goes to positive. So 3 cubed is? 27. And 2 cubed is? 8. And there's our answer. 2 cubed does not mean 2 times 3. 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2. This one's kind of like this one. That one half does not even have an exponent. Other than one. 
one. So I'm just going to keep the one half. <coughs> what happens to five to the negative second? Or five to the negative first? One over five. It becomes one over five. And now I can multiply them and get one over ten. ten? We're only flipping or one overing things that have negative exponents. So when I look at the next problem, will I flip the one half? Nope, the one half stays one half. But what happens to this? He flips and becomes five. So that one is Again, we're ending with a much easier one. What's three to the negative four? One over three to the fourth, which would be one over 81. Three times three times three, times three. All right, anybody have a question about any of those before I erase them? Let me move on to the next. Because the next group has fractions and negatives. So we talked about how to do fractional exponents. What do fractional exponents always mean? Radical. And what do negative exponents mean? Flip. So this time we're probably going to have to do both of those things. So we have 8 to the negative 2 thirds. Always take care of the negatives first. So we're going to think of this as 1 over 8 to the 2 thirds. Is step 1 okay with everybody? Take care of the negative. <coughs> Got it? Now, we have this to a fractional power. So that's going to be a radical. And it's going to be the cube root squared. So what's the cube root of 8? 2 squared. 4. So the answer is 1 4. 1 over because of the negative. And then 4 because we had to take the cube root of 8 and square it. Alright, so let's go with this one. Same thing. What are we going to do first? Get rid, of the get rid of the negative. So we get rid of the negative by doing 1 over. So 1 over 4 to the 3 halves. Now notice when I did 1 over, nothing changed except the negative went away. That's the only thing. Negative one, one over. All right, what does the denominator mean? It's a fraction. So I know that means a radical. What goes in the radical? Four. Four. What goes here? What's the root I'm taking? Two. Two. And then the power is three. So what's the square root of four? with these ones that have lots going on like this? Negative. Take care of the negative first. So what is that negative exponent going to do to this? Flip it. Flip it. So now it's going to be 9, or 9 over 1, if you want to write 9 over 1, 9 to the positive 1 half. And what does a 1 half power mean? A radical. What's the square root of 9? 3. And it's just in the first, so the answer is just So 
what do we do first? Flip it. Flip it. Because of the negative, so it's going to be 27 over 8 to the one third. Remember when you flip it, nothing happens to the exponent except it becomes positive. So that flipped, now it's a one third. to the first power, and underneath you is going to be 27 over 8, and I'm not freaking out about it. What's the cube root of 27? 3. What's the cube root of 8? So the answer is 3 halves to the first power, which is just 3 halves. First step. Flip it. Get it one over. So instead of twenty-seven, we'll do one over twenty-seven. And it's to the two-thirds power. Your exponent doesn't flip. The only change you make to the exponent is it becomes positive. What does a fractional it mean a radical. So this is going to have a radical. And under the radical is going to go 127. And this is going to be a cube root squared. It doesn't make any difference, Giovanni. You're right, you could do it either way. Giovanni says, can I make this 1 over 27 to the 2 thirds? And then that would be 1 over the cube root of 27 squared. Now, the way I did it, I have a 1 up here, and it's okay either way. Either way is fine. What's, what's the cube root of 1? 1. Squared? 1. So see, as long as it's a 1, it doesn't make any difference either way. So it's right both ways. So you are right. You are absolutely right. Either way, we're going to get, I'm going to get one third, um, or one third squared. So I'm going to get one ninth. You're going to get one over 